Good evening, everyone. It's Anna. It is uh, Wednesday evening, and I have a stone lot that I had picked up and some items that I picked up at the local thrift store as well. So I'm going to show these items. Um, you know, if anybody's interested in buying any of them, you may contact me at vintagejewelrygalertyahoo.com. I will also be bringing this on Saturday to my sale as well. <clears throat> the items that I don't pre-sell. I have other stuff to show too. I broke it down. I'm going to show this first, okay? So, I'm going to push this out of the side and start showing it. <laughs> I'll leave it right here. It's kind of in view. All right. This is really, really beautiful. <clears throat> this is a Roman, R-O-M-A-N, jewelry brand set. It's signed Roman in the back. It's really beautiful. <laughs> Look at this crystals it tells you genuine crystal and they gold plated their jewelry this came the earrings didn't come with it this is the original box for the pin and that's about two inches at least about it shines beautifully it has a little it's a little elevated you know raised domed as you call it and there's a roll over clasp <clears throat> i think it's like 80s possibly 90s i'm not sure exact dating on it but it's really really beautiful roman brand in its original box. And um, it's nice, I'll set that there. I have the earrings, these are Paris. They are signed in the back as well. These are crystal and gold plated as well. And they are signed R-O-M-A-N in the back on a cartouche. I'm gonna leave them on here, but these are Paris earrings. They don't have the original backing. You see they put a rubbery thing on there. Um, they're a little over an, 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 an inch in length and look how lovely they look together. It's lovely. It's in a very nice set. Okay, let's start off with that. I'll sit it over here together. Um, I'm going to go through some of the stones I have here because I'm super excited about it, to be honest. Um, this is a lot that I picked up. Some of them I don't have to test. I know what they are by looking at them, by seeing them, you know, over and over. And these are beautiful garnet. This is very lovely faceted um, braided garnet strand. Look how lovely it is. Find my camera set up. All right, I'm trying um, to set it in a different angle. I think that's fine. It maybe could use to be up some. Let me fix it. Hopefully it doesn't bother anybody. And don't mind the background. It's not perfect. I'm uh, work in progress as usual. I'm going to set it up differently. Let me tell you how long it is. This is magnificent. It's got a good weight to it. And it's braided. There's a lot of garment on here. This is a 25-inch necklace strand with no class beautiful braided lovely garnet necklace they're nice nice large pieces they're not like little chips Let's see they're a little larger and they're faceted um not not like rough faceted but soft it's a beautiful necklace that is substantially weighted too for garnet um for garnet this is um this is wood. This is vintage strung on silk. This is cinnabar. This is real. I'm gonna test it. I have my scratch tester right here. I'm gonna see if it's silver that test us sterling, or if you know, or just the one it's marked silver that's not. Because there there there's some that is and some that aren't. And this one is sterling silver. It is marked silver. It has it's a vintage one of those. It's, I wonder if this is Chinese export. I don't know for certain, but the class reminds me of it. It's for me. And there you go. It's marked silver in the back. This is strung on silk, knotted to separate. And this is um, real wooden cinnabar. I have a bangle as well that came with it. Well, that was in the jewelry that I got. Pretty nice, though. <clears throat> Let me tell you how long it is. This is vintage. It is measuring 24 inches from end to end. And you can hear that it's wood. It is real. It's not plastic. Hopefully the lighting's good. Let me move them a little closer to us. I am working on that too. It's been crazy. I can have the baby a lot. I'm, I'm working on it. I'll get it together. Um, this is as well. Um, cinnabar as well. And it's real. It's not, it's not fake. Um, Quite beautiful. I think those look like pansies on there, maybe. I'm not really sure. Let me tell you the measurement. This looks a little small. It is a, that's a two and a half, so well, inside. It's a little bit under. 
it's average size. Um, look, I have six inches, a little six and an eighth, and I have a lot of room. So it's definitely a seven inch. Lovely cinnabar bangle, wooden as well, and a fantastic vintage necklace. That came in a lot. I, my eye was, I, I was lucky. I don't know what this is, okay? I need to test it for amber. Let me scratch it for sterling just in, to see. Nah. I, I feel like it's, if it, <coughs> I will test it, but I've never seen amber that color. You know what I'm saying? Look. I'm going to get my soda. I've been a little ill. I wore my immune system, though. It worked really hard to move. Um, Thank God I had to help. I did. I've never done it, but still, I did work hard. Give me maybe my temperature. But you see what I mean? It looks like like uh, amber here with the like heat treated and this uh, exaggerated like uh, sunburst. Not the natural. But I've never seen amber that color. If anybody wants to speak in there, I think this is fake, okay? That's my guess. But it's still cool. Look at the color. I don't know. But let me hang it up. I don't believe it's real amber. It's not set in sterling. Well, that doesn't mean anything, but... Do you see the green? It looks like a sherbet or something. Now I feel like I have a shadow. All right. I can't win when you're in a... No, I'm joking. Um... <laughs> All right, that's good enough, right? I think this is fake. I will check it out just to see. But that does look like the amber that they, you know, over, you know, how they heat treat it. And they, but I, I don't think it is. But there it is anyways, because it was in the lot. Are you, do you want to come in, Eva? I was trying to get Eva to come in and, and say hello. <laughs> she doesn't want to. That's okay. This is Sterling Findings, I believe. Let me show this. I think it is. It may not be. Um, that's multiple stones and pearls. Um, citrine. There's rose quartz. I, that might be like a. Uh, wait, let me put it on gem tester. It will give you a general idea. You still have to be able to identify, obviously. Um, I'm not sure. It's possibly dark citrine. Okay. This looks like carnelian here. You can't see if it's carnelian or not. I know that. That's not on here. It's just the color looks carnelian. Looks like an agate, right? Um, rose quartz, rose quartz down there. These are real pearls. Yeah. Freshwater pearls. I don't know what that one is. It's a lovely, like, greenish blue color. They're all stones. I don't know if it's set in sterling or not. Um, I don't think so. Let me see if it has any markings. I don't know. It's stones. I hang it up. It's pretty. It would be great. Um, I think it has real pearls on it. I'll test the metal out better later. But it's short. <coughs> I don't have it on the extender. See, the extender has the little pearls. You could um make this a little bit shorter. I mean, longer. But it's pretty. Those are all real stones, and those are pearls. I don't know about the metal. I have to look at it. That's what happens when you buy a large lot, you never know. I think this is magnificent. It could use a roost. It's onyx and, well, eh, not certain if it's onyx. Let me see if it's sterling. It kind of will tell you the um, quality of a piece to a degree, you know, if it's sterling or gold, uh, to a degree. It is sterling on the end, I believe. Um, and leather, I I'll retest it. I'm not going to sell it right off here or anything, obviously. But look at this. Sh that big shell. It's cool, isn't it? Mother of Pearl. It's nice. It's like two inches. That I think it could be very strong somehow if you didn't like the way it was there. But I think that's nice. That was in there. <coughs> what else? These are jade. I, I These are jade. I, I have to look at them closer. I don't know if they're, I think they might be, I, I have to look at them closer, all right. This is um, <clears throat> leather, look at these, these are little turtles, they're uh, some form of jade. I'll figure that out. <laughs> they're adorable, they're little turtles all around. 
I've seen if it was glowing. And I believe that's leather. But look, it's a little pull. One of those bracelets that like you pull. And I'm pretty certain that's onyx on the end. But little tiny jade turtles all around. Strung on leather. It's cute. That's cute. This is nice. This is, um, I think this is made of fury glass. I don't know if there's any stone. Actually, these feel like stone. Yeah, these are stone. I think these may be jadeite. <coughs> Let me show you. <coughs> Sorry. I'll put it up in a moment. Um, look. No fury glass, and this is the jadeite here. <laughs> it's cute. Little uh, Miller Fury glass. I think it's cute. And I don't know if the fine needs are sterling or not. I will test it. These are stone. I believe they're jadeite. And then you have the Miller Fury. Little, the little balls and the little like tubies. <clears throat> Whatever you want to call these. They're thick for tubes. But, and then you have these like big raindrop ones. Okay. It's a little fury glass um, necklace. This is really quite lovely, this stone. Um, <clears throat> it's definitely stone. Um, I, I am not sure which one. Okay, if anybody knows, you want to pop it in there, go right ahead. I welcome it, but this is beautiful. I think it would look, especially if you, it has the rhinestone rundowns and a beautiful cross. Those are rhinestones. But the, oh, this is really lovely. And it is stone. It's not glass. It looks like ruby. But it's not ruby, definitely. Um, and it's out of the garnet range, according to my gem tester. My gem tester is pretty reliable for, well, it's still in the garnet range. It's a little dark. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what the stone is. If you have an idea, let me know, okay? Look, I just got that. Isn't that pretty? I think it's, I don't know how old it is exactly. It's beautiful amethyst, though. Science Sterling. I really liked it. Um, it's nice. I don't know what the stone is. You know, let me know. Why not? Help, 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 you know. Help me. If you have any ideas, I'd appreciate your input. I don't always have to be a joker, right? I think these are sodalite beads. Faceted sodalite. Oh, that's really pretty, actually. Look at the cut on that. Let me look at it close. I'm sorry. Let me... Look at that. I think that's lovely. You see that bead? Like you have this like roundness like and then you have these squares over it. These are sodalite beads and there's the cat's eye. Glass cat's eye. Beautiful. Lovely cloisonne beads. This is um I think it's a sterling too. This is a nice little stretch bracelet. It may need a re uh, you could wear it like this. It's it's not real loose, but I think that's sterling. <laughs> I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. I'll test it later. <clears throat> so like beads, beautiful blue cat's eye. Look at the shine on it, cat's eye. And um, cloisonne beads, nice ones. These are they're real cloisonne. I think it's lovely. I love when I I, I like the I like stone lots. Um, I do. I enjoy going through them. I'm um, not really sure what this is. I'm stone. I feel like it's that uh, way honest often. Um, adventure, not adventure. I don't know. It needs re uh, strung though. I can see that. This needs re strung. It's a little loose hair. Look, it came in a lot. But it's oh God. agate? Some type of agate, right? That one looks a little odd, really. This will probably go in the craft. You see what I'm talking about there? It's, um, Oh my goodness, I can't think of, it is stone, it's all stone, it's not glass. I don't know, that needs her string, I don't see on the crack. This is pretty, this is nice, but it, it, it is, says it's a, I don't know if it's sturdy class or not, but it's not knotted in between. But, um, it's some, I believe it's, oh, I'm looking at it, okay. It's lovely stone, it's so. They didn't put it on in between. You have some space in between up there. This is a hand strung, but it's very nice stones on there. Looks like some amethyst and um, 
it's um, I'm not gonna say what it is because honestly I don't know <laughs> some of it. Um, I put it on a jump tester, it's going up very high. Um, I, and I don't rely on a jump tester 100%. I want to make that clear. Um, I go to a jeweler to get things confirmed if I have a question. He's still down the street from me, even though I moved. But um, I don't rely on it totally. What I'm using it for mainly is to see if it is glass or stone. And it helps with that. Because that's quite beautiful. It needs a restraint. These look like fat. These are faceted layer more. And obviously, you can't test those on the jump tester. We all know that. That's what gets you. I think it's just a sterling wire. These are really nice. Let me show them. I also have a layer more ring in the up. I think it's just layer more. Or it could be Amazonite. Um, okay. But I see clouding. I think these look how nice. These are Paris earrings. I don't have, I don't do have anything. I'm hanging it up instead of having my hands right in there. Um, <clears throat> I think these are, um, I think they're Larimar. more. If not Larimar, more, Amazonite. Okay. These look like number eights. So somebody made them. And I think it's a sterling <laughs> faceted stones. And they are stone. And I, like I said, that's what I use my jump tester predominantly for. Is to put it on there and if it goes above the glass range um substantially above it if it's just a little bit above i don't even rely on that because you don't know but if it goes up you know over it well over it then i know it's not glass you also can calibrate to see if the glass is within range online i have to proceed with gem tester too my daughter bought me this um so when i calibrate it you first of all when you first get it you calibrate it over here but i take it and I, I go here, and if it's, see, it's staying in the glass range. Um, so I know it's working for that. So if it goes above the glass, and then I take it up here, and if it calibrates within the calibrate range, then I know my gem tester is reliable enough to basically to give me an idea, but it's not at 100%. That, that's true. You, you, you learn stones as you're doing it, or I confirm with the jeweler on a number of stones. Like aquamarine and blue topaz, I, I take to and I'm like, which one is this? Is it lab created or is it man made? Is it man made or is it natural? That's something that's for me it's still difficult. But I believe these are beautiful faceted layer mark. Great find in the uh in my little lot of jewelry. This is nice too. This was in there. This is quite lovely. And it is sterling findings. I just this came in that lot. That was a great find. This is worth pretty more than I paid. No, I'm joking, it's not true. It wasn't a real cheap one, but let's zap a couple of stones. This is going to tell me if they're glass. I already have an idea what they are because I've seen them before. I don't know everything, but um, this looks like a jadeite to me. It is going in that range. Um, jadeite, amethyst, uh, rose quartz, carnelian, tiger eye, repeating itself. Quite beautiful, and I could be wrong on the green. I'm going to be honest with you, okay? It could be something else, but it's sterling. Testa Sterling, quite lovely. Look at that, it's a nice bracelet. All these little gems on there, they're all real. I zap them to see, you know. If it's glass, it'll stay within the right on the glass. Okay, next, I like this. <coughs> I think this may be dyed, but I thought it was fabulous. It's Baruch Pearls. Are they dyed? Let me, I, I'll put them underneath my loop to look closer. You can tell when they are painted. Oh, good God. Oh, fabulous. This is fabulous. No, this is really nice, seriously. Let me see if there's a marking on it. I'll hang it up. This is pretty nice. I don't see one. Look at it. I don't, I questionably don't. I don't think it's, it could be dyed. I don't know. They're pearls this color. I know that, but look at this. These are, um, I think they call these Baroque, right? Or is there, or at least blister. Hey, guys. People that want to put your opinion down below. Let me know what you like. If you like any of it, I'm sure you have to like something. The cinnabar is amazing, says so the garnet. Um, I love natural stones. I anytime I see a lot and I see something that looks good in it like that, you know, um, even a cinnabar came in with it. I, I I buy it because I'm like, why not? And then I can pass things on at decent prices to my customers and maybe keep something for myself. But this is fabulous. Sterling findings. And I don't know if they're dyed or not. It's hard to tell. But look at the pearly on there. 
These are mall. What are these called? Is this a Brooke Pearl necklace? Sophia? No, I'm joking. Because how many sees? It's a magnificent necklace, whatever it is. It's a beautiful teal green color. Okay. Let's zip zap this. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is. And maybe this is a Jasper, possibly. It's leather findings. I have to investigate this one. I think I see a make yours mark on it. Hold on. I'm, I'm going to look and tell you what it says. I'll show it to you if I can. Um, uh, it says... Karoi or something? C A. Or, oh, let me show it to you. I can enlarge this. And my nails need done. And my feet. I need my nails and feet done. <laughs> I was looking at my feet today. I'm like, his feet look old. See that? Can you see that? Yeah. See, when you know who it is? I mean, I don't, this is a faceted. It's a stone. I think it's a jasper of some sort. Sorry, see my nails. Again, if you have an opinion on it or you know and you want to tell me, tell me. I don't mind. Uh, it's nice, though. I see some white on it. It's fascinating. There's a pair of earrings that match it and kind of look like... I don't know if the earrings... Nah, the earrings are glass. Okay, that does happen sometimes. You'll get a lot. See, these are glass. Let me show you this. Okay, if, if you don't have one and you want one, I love this one. To be careful with it, though. Okay, watch. I'm zapping this. Look where it's, it stays. It's it's staying in the red. But when I zap this, am I blocking it? It's going well above. You see, that's a stone. That's how you can tell. Okay, um, this one's been very reliable. My daughter bought me it for Mother's Day like a while ago, over a year. <clears throat> you have to be careful. You can't toss it around. It has to be treated like a child. <laughs> like a small baby. Okay, I believe this is leather. I have to look it up. But the earrings don't go with it. But they're nice. They're lever back. Um, I don't know who the maker is. Paris lever back earrings, but they are not a stone. They are staying well within the glass range. So, and that's how I use the thing. I don't put it on there. Oh, let's see what stone this is. I don't do that. I don't think it's reliable. I understand that idea that you shouldn't do that. Um, to me, it makes no sense. You do have to know what you're looking at. That's why I, I go see the jeweler I read or I ask somebody if I know somebody I can ask. These are stone, and this is fabulous. What is this? Does anybody know? That's nice. This is a quartz down here, I believe, or a topaz. Pretty. I believe they're sterling. They look like it. Let me hang them up and get them out of my hands. They're, I like the way they shimmery. They shimmery, shimmery. Look. Ooh, they're beautiful. This is a nice stone lot, wouldn't you say? Everything but the room and came in that stone lot that I found. Beautiful. Absolutely marvelous. Sterling silver. I think it's some kind of topaz. Let me let me zap it. See, it looks like topaz. That's my idea. Do I, I zap it? Does it go up to there? No, no, it's not topaz. It's a quartz, okay? That's why I thought initially. Very smoky quartz. Yeah. And I don't know what that is. If anybody knows, I'd appreciate knowing. Let me show it to you close. I think it's quite beautiful. It's definitely stone. Look at it. When you move it, it looks like a waterfall. It's really beautiful. Um, I really like those earrings. They're not real, real heavy, but they're, they're it's a pretty nice uh, part of that. This did not come in there. That's amazing. Though. Okay, these look and feel like stone as well. Again, just because I'm not 100% sure, I don't have to zap everything because some of them I know. All right, these are definitely stone. I don't know if they're, uh, they're marked 925 as well. They're pretty. I'm not... Let me know your thoughts on them. This one has like marbling going in it. They're pretty, they're nice. They're different, like you've got like the triangle and a square joined together. They're stone earrings. I like the color variation. I see some burgundy going through this one and this, these. <coughs> but those weren't there. Let me get moving. I feel like I'm going to take my time if people don't want to watch it. They don't have to, right? When I move too fast, it's not good. All right. I believe it's to be a magnet, mag, I believe is what they call it, right? Yeah, this is not of to write color for turquoise. See that? It looks dyed. I'm not going to put, uh, 
acetone on it because I do know that they could put a sailor on it and it may not come off. But this coloring does not look like any turquoise that I've ever seen. Not that I'm a complete expert, but I've been seeing it. I can pick it out now. Um, but this is magnesite, I think they call it. And it's a stone. It is a stone. But they dye it. It has the natural variations as this does. and looks chunky. Like, could be turquoise, but it's not the right color. They dyed that, and that's most likely a magnesite. I think I'm, if I'm wrong on the, is it called magnesite? I think so. If I'm wrong, correct me. <laughs> it's, it's like how, like, it's another one. Oh, my God, I might be using the wrong one. Okay, I don't know. It doesn't matter. This is the halite. And I'm pretty certain this is halite. I don't think this is stone either. I'll show you that in a minute. But look, this is, um, I, how late is a stone as well? Um, this is nice findings on it though, but it's strung poorly. You can see it there. You, should, you know, it's like loose. But see, I believe it's a stout how late. It's definitely not a turquoise. Um, not that I'm getting so somebody might still like it. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. I'm just saying it's not. Um, I can tell that. That's not what I bought it for. I saw this and this, and I was like, I'm going to get it just for that. Because those are fantastic. This, again, is some of the how dyed how white. Like this. And I think this is quartz, but I don't believe those are citrine. Now, let's see if I'm right. Definitely glass there. Um... But these are quartz. This is nice. This is a nice strand. It's a very long strand. And you have uh, quartz. And um, these are glass. Faceted glass beads. Still a nice strand. Could be look great if people that layer their jewelry. You know, um, that's a good, would be a good piece for that. This is jade as well. And I believe that is. It's on these little tie bracelets. There's some carnelian on here. It's a nice, nice piece, actually. Um, it's a simple thing. This is Japan. Now, this is all glass, probably. I don't know, though. Let's zap it. I would guess this is a Japan, and they stuck it. Yeah, it's all glass. They put it in here, but you know I love my Japan. And I have a couple customers that appreciate it as well now, so this is for sale if anybody wants it. Um... It's beautiful, vintage. Uh, I'm just gonna hang it like this. It needs untwisted, but just let me show you the glass. It's signed Japan, and this is nice. Molded glass there, pressed glass too, maybe. I don't know, let's see if it glows. I doubt it. I always, uh, okay, it's nice. It's an all glass Japan, signed Japan on the back of the Hulk necklace. That's not stone, it did come in with it. <clears throat> this is lava rock bracelet. People dip those into scents. I know that. Um, dip it to, you know, and then they wear it scented. Um, this is coral. I believe it's real. Let me look at it. I'm not so sure. Okay. <clears throat> I have to look at it closer. Looks like it's me. Um, but I have a bracelet with it to I'm not sure though. I'd have to look at it better, but it's 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 not glass. I know that. But it's a little set. I'm not sure if it's coral though. If it's 100. Let me see if it's a sterling clasp. I don't see anything written on it. Just curious. I like to look at the clasp. I don't know. I think it's coral. I'd have to look at it. Um. This is pretty, this is, uh, I don't know, glass. I think this is all glass as well. Wait, this might be stone. It all looks like glass, this, that happens. So look at the bead down there though. It's a really nice artwork bead. And this is beautiful, like, um, let me make sure that's not stone, okay. No, it's glass, it's, like, it's nice, so I think it's cute. Look at the bead. Let me see if it glows. I'm curious and plain. Why not? I'm in really bright light, but I don't see any of it glowing. It's glass. It's all glass. This is like a shiny, like, like cat's eye kind of, and yellow. 
spring ring clasp and I don't think it's sterling findings on look but I like the bead see that all right that's that um this is like this is a how white I don't think this is I don't know what this is it's white <laughs> I don't know what it is it's some kind of stone okay these earrings are marked um this is Paul Shell PAU. They are signed with this. I don't know if anybody knows what that is. Let me enlarge it. It's the maker. I guess I can look it up online too. Somebody might recognize it though. It looks like a, a leaf or something. Sorry. All right. I don't know. I'm back. I got knocked off. I'm not starting over. I just fixed it. Uh, I fixed it. Cute. I was showing you that. <laughs> I have to look it up. And there's more here. This is a beautiful Laramar and Sterling Silver Ring. It's pretty nice. I think it's a little English on the stone side. It is a size six, but I can get it on and my finger range is like six and three quarters. Sometimes it's tight on me though, so we'll keep it at a six, okay? I'm not gonna say it's any bigger than that. A size six, it won't fit anybody over that because it's too tight. It's an inch. Of wear more um, up and down, but there it is on the size six. Look how beautiful that wear more is. It's nice, isn't it? I like it, I think it's really beautiful. I got a fidget ring, <coughs> it's sterling silver, and I believe it has gold findings on it on the sides here. Well, I'm not sure, it could be brass actually, it's not marked. This is right around an eight, a little bit over, if you can see. And it's one of these spinnies. This is a nice sized ring. It's like, I mean, I mean the weight of it. It's not real light, but look. Sterling silver. See the sides? I don't know. Let me see. This might, I have something that says 14 carat on it. Or 18. It's not this. This is... 925, I think I'll have to look at it better, but there's that. Um, this is an original by Robert, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, look, beautiful, isn't it? Brass. Let me move my arm away from that acid. It's really lovely, an original by Robert. I think it's a scarf clip. And it's signed original by Robert. It's in great shape. The glass looks fantastic on it. It's a piece of glass. Um, I love this necklace. I had to get it. I've, it's beautiful. I mean, look at it. I don't even know who the maker is. It's definitely vintage. Um, let me look on the inside to clip because sometimes you miss it there. No, it's more for this. So look at it. Let me untangle it. Here's the ends in case you want to see them. And it has that. And I don't know who that is. I know it's probably maybe uh, one of the designers. I don't see any marking anywhere on the necklace. That is the um, chain. It has a J hook with no marking. Okay. This is beautiful. It's a safety. Um, you know, it has an extender on. Look how marvelous that is. All right. Maybe I'm, I feel like I'm in a weird position. There we go. Yeah, isn't it pretty, pretty thing? And I'll measure it for you. It's a lovely mid-century necklace textured on the um, on the end, and that's not a very pretty view, is it? <laughs> okay, let me measure it from here down. This measures, uh, it's really short. It's a 15 inch necklace, it's tiny, but look at the beautiful blue glass. Fasten it. So this is looks like it is an AB shine on it. So it's 50s, mid 50s. This I don't know who this is. <clears throat> That's black glass cameo. This is big. It's like three inches. Am I still enlarged? I am. I'm sorry about that. That's why everything looks so funny. Excuse me for that. You did see the necklace, though, right? The original by Robert. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> From the bail down, it's three inches. It's lovely, isn't it? It's a spring ring clasp and it's a rope chain. It's gold tone. This is costume, of course. Faceted black glass with a cameo. There's the back. It's big. It's a big one. Um, 
this is faceted onyx. This is amazing. Sterling findings on the end. <coughs> Those are faceted onyx. Look how beautiful. This is nice. This was not in the lot. I found this somewhere else separately. It's not glass. It's actually onyx. Yeah, it gets right well above the glass range. Sterling and sterling findings on the end and beautiful faceted black. Look at that, onyx beads. Magnificent, really, it's long. This is a large and church necklace. It's beautiful, it has a good weight to it. It is a 28 inch necklace, it's magnificent. Did not come in a lot, I bought that separate. This is a B.A. Suarte, S-U-A-R-T-I, sterling in 18K, made in Indonesia. Indonesia, B A Suarte, S U A R T I, I believe. And you see, you have some gold on it. Some 18 karat gold, not that much, that little piece right there. And I don't know if there's any more, I don't see it, but this is blue topaz, mother of pearl, and oh my goodness, um, the green one. The green stone, what's it called? Oh, that's wrong with me. Not emerald. Uh, Oh, I cannot remember. Why can't I remember that? Um, hmm. You know what I'm talking about. It's the green one, guys. Oh, dear Lord, I can't remember. Not citrine, can't remember. Not emerald. All right. It's the green gemstone, okay? And blue topaz. It is. It's marked in the back. This is a beautiful piece here. And I can't remember what it's called. I have no idea why, it just left my brain. Peridot, it's peridot. Peridot, peridot, peridot. This is a, about a two inch drop from the bale down, correct. Beautiful, beautiful uh, pendant, nice big bale. This could be put on a torque. You could probably stick it on a thin layer of pearls if you want. <laughs> nice big chain. Um, this is Sarah Coventry Sterling Silver and Onyx Ring. It's pretty nice as well. I don't find, it's the first piece I've ever found out in the wild. Uh, Sarah Coventry, it's five and three quarter inches. Five and three, size five and three quarters. It's not inches. I'm tired. See the swirlies and the little black Onyx in the center. Signed Sterling and Sarah Cuff in there. One side Sarah Cuff, the other side Sterling. It is sterling silver, and it's rather small. Not really, really, but this is pearls. I think it's a strung on silk. <clears throat> Beautiful pearls and crystal. Look how lovely that is. Okay, I'm not hanging it well. Tired. I'm tired. God. I'm sorry. I'm trying. <laughs> Let me do this. There. Okay. That is beautiful. These are freshwater culture pearls. Crystals. There's a tassel with them. And then go up any of that. I thought it was beautiful. I never couldn't pass it up. thought it was a lovely necklace. It's very pretty. It's long. I'm not going to measure it. This here is a Coro Pegasus set. It is Moon Glow Lucite and gold plating and crust, uh, we'll call it rhinestones. I don't know what they are. But um, the pendant's not marked, but the earrings are, and that's common. But beautiful, they definitely go together. It's about two inches. Look at the loose sight, looks like a stone. But it is signed, maybe even on one earring. Here we go. Pegasus and then Coro, right here. There's a Pegasus and Coral. These are vintage. This is screwbacks, vintage screwback jewelry. I think these are these are mid-century. I'm not exactly certain on the age. Um, but they're like 50s, maybe before even. Let's say we're making a Coral Pegasus. Before the 50s. Beautiful set. Screwbacks and pin. I think it's lovely. Um, um, these are, these are uh, very, very beautiful too. I don't know if they're antique or not. I want to sink in my head that they are. <laughs> Look how lovely. The glass is definitely vintage looking. 
beautiful yellow. I don't know if it glows. It's something I wanted to check. Is this uranium? I don't know. I just want to know. I don't see a glow. Beautiful though. Brass and beautiful yellow, like bicone glass, bigger pieces and smaller. <coughs> oh, get thirsty. They're beautiful. Look how they dangle there. Looks like the glass is wearing an overcoat. Lovely earrings, huh? Paris wires, brass, and very lovely, beautiful, faceted yellow glass. I thought they were amazing. I got these from the counter. Come pass them off. These are Juicy Couture horseshoe earrings. They're signed Juicy um, Couture. <laughs> They're really cute. Um, I Let me sack these. Did Juicy make diamond jewelry? I don't think they do. Let me, um, look, I'll show you a little tiny. Just let me look and make sure there's no markings. These are little horseshoes. I don't think, if anything, they're probably gold plated, right? And probably like cubic zirconians or something. They're dainty and adorable. Look what the backing looks like, too. It's so cute. They're, it's a little horseshoe with the rhinestones or bezel set. I believe they're rhinestones. I'll retest them to make sure and double look over it. But the backing is really cool. Look what it looks like. Like Richie. It's cute. There's two of them, of course. Little Juicy Couture horseshoe earrings. These are tiny. They're like a half of an inch. I thought they're cute. I think those are vintage. These are alpaca Mexico. One of them are signed um, abalone, and I think the black is enamel. I wouldn't. I don't think that's uh, onyx, but look, they're pretty cute. I think they're signed back here. This one's signed Mexico alpaca, and I thought they were super cute. Look, crescent moons, pair of stearings. They are uh, vintage um, Mexico alpaca earrings. These stretch bracelets are pure costume, but I thought they were cute, so I grabbed them. It's a stretch. We have the cat with the green rhinestone eyes, gold tone. He's biting onto that. It's made like to imitate like the um, what did they have? Um, the higher end brands. I can't even think of one. I'm tired. Mazer, I think, definitely had one. Okay, that, and then we have this. <coughs> This is an elephant, black enamel, and a white rhinestone in its head. Clear, not white. So two little stretch bracelets, a kitty cat biting the a number eight, the affinity, and the elephant. They're costume, but I thought they were cute, so I grabbed them. I think these are 1928 earrings. These are amazing. Faux pearls, beautiful. It's yellow. You can see pink enameling. And here's the back. These are Paris, like, four-inch dangles. I think they are 1928. They have the design. I'll show them again in a minute. They're a little heavy. If anybody asks me to buy them, I can weigh them for you. They're, like, three and a half inches. There's the back. And they're Paris. I left them on a card. The lady at the store put them on. They're beautiful, though. That's a hand holding that down there. I sold so many of my brooch holding, hand holding something. That's a little hand holding the little gem glass piece. Um, I, I think this looks like, these kind of look like satin glass. These are, um, I thought they were pretty. I, I buy them when I see them. Rosaries. <laughs> He's got a pretty background on the cross. And I believe, I don't know, it looks like a satiny glass. It's just, it's glass, it's smooth. Rosaries, normal size. Um, and these are kind of full wearings. Clear rhinestone sign Casey. I believe it's Kenneth Cole. They're nice. These are Paris. They are about half three quarters of an inch. They have a cool backing on them. <coughs> Pretty original. Their jewelry's not bad. Costume. Kenneth Cole is pretty nice stuff. I thought these ones were really nice. Um, dangles. I don't see a marking on them or anything, but look. Those are clear rhinestones. I think they're pretty. They're tassels. These kind of remind me of chandelier earrings. They look like that type of thing. All right, this is going to be a long video. There will be another one out Friday. 
and I will be on Saturday morning. All right. Um, <laughs> time will depend on if I find any estate sales or anything. I ripped the backing off that one, but look, I have them both and they're in good shape. These are glass clear rhinestones. Pretty lovely. Dangly earrings. They have full movement. They're pretty nice. I like those actually. And these are glass. Um, definitely, I just tested them. They look like I have a gold plating over the around the edges. Look, Paris earrings, dangles. They are glass, they're not stone. I just tested them. But these are like Avery Foley, I like a pointed gemstone on each end. Paris earrings. So that's it. That's what I have. I think that was a pretty big haul. Again, I'll be back on Friday uh, doing a jewelry haul and pre sale. And I will be on Saturday morning probably between 10 and 11 a.m beyond coming up to do my uh my sale that i've been doing okay thank you so much for watching my video if you see anything you want please contact me at vintage jewelry galore yahoo.com have a lovely evening the rest of your week i hope it goes well thank you so much for supporting me give me a thumbs up subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel show people my channel i sell wonderful jewelry at affordable prices and I think I'm a nice person for the most part. <laughs> All right. Have a good evening. Thank you. Bye.